The Metro Manila Subway, originally named Mega Manila Subway, is an approved underground rapid transit line to be built initially in Metro Manila in the Philippines. Construction is projected to begin by 2018, and to finish by 2025, the project is expected to cost 227 billion pesos 4.5 billion United States dollars as of 2017, to be included in the national budget in the following years. It is expected to be the most expensive transport project to be undertaken by the Duterte administration. The government of Japan has expressed willingness to help in covering the expenses of the subway, and the first part of a 104.5 billion yen loan was signed by Japan. History Background a subway in Metro Manila, initially named Metro Manila Subway, was proposed in the Metro Manila Dream Plan as a 57.7-kilometer subway that would serve as the second north-south mass transit backbone for the newly expanded Greater Capital Region, the first being the north-south commuter line. The Metro Manila Dream Plan, Mega Manila Dream Plan or Roadmap for Transport Infrastructure Development for Metro Manila and its surrounding areas, is an integrated plan, created on the basis of recommendations from a study conducted by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, and was approved the National Economic and Development Authority, NEDA, board in June 2014, lasting until 2030. The program aims to improve the transport system in Metro Manila, Philippines, with the hope of turning it into a focal point for addressing Metro Manila's interlinked problems in the areas of transportation, land use, and environment. However, the idea had been forwarded as early as 1973, when the JICA, at the time known as the Overseas Technical Cooperation Agency or OTCA, and former Secretary of Public Works and Highways David Kinsunji conducted a study on what shall later be Metro Manila, formally constituted on the 7 November 1975. The subway was also proposed to be part of the 1977 Metro Plan, which even received approval from the World Bank. However, the subway plan was not included and implemented, for some of the areas included in the plan, such as Marikina and Cainta, are prone to flooding. Instead, what was built was the Manila Light Rail Transit System Line 1, opened on 1 December 1984 and completed on 12 May 1985. Nevertheless, the current Manila Light Rail Transit System, mostly elevated, is shorter than the line system forwarded in 1973. The 1973 subway plan provided for the construction of five lines. The first line, Line 1, extends 27.1 kilometers from Constitution Hills, now Batasan Hills, Quezon City to Talon, Las Piñas. The second line, Line 2, extends 36 kilometers from Novaliches, Quezon City to Cainta, Rizal. The third line, Line 3, extends 24.3 kilometers throughout Epifanio de los Santos Avenue. The fourth line, Line 4, extends 30.1 kilometers from Marikina to Zapote, Bacor. Finally, the fifth line, Line 5, extends 17.6 kilometers from Rizal Avenue, Manila to Makayan, Bulacan. If this plan was carried out, it would have been completed by 1988. Development a loan agreement was signed between President Duterte and Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in November 2017. On March 16, 2018, Japan signed the first part of a 104.5 billion yen, approximately $957 million loan for the subway. The subway will begin partial operations by 2022 or 2025, with only three stations, Mindanao Avenue, Tondong Sora, and North Avenue, open. Groundbreaking will commence on the fourth quarter of 2018, and it will begin operations by 2025. In June 2018, soil testing was conducted along the projected path of the subway. It is highly implied massive TBMs will be employed for the project. Design The subway will be the third high-capacity, heavy rail line in the country, after the LRT-2, and MRT-7, and the first to be mostly underground. It is designed to run trains at the speed of 80 km per hour. The tunnel diameter inside and outside is projected to be 5.2 meters and 5.65 meters respectively. Since there are estimates of an expected magnitude 7.2 earthquake, which can be as powerful as magnitude 7.6, in the Marikina Valley Fault System, the subway is designed to withstand a magnitude 8.0 earthquake. 
In addition, the subway may not be entirely underground. Assessment of the environmental and geographical considerations in the base alignment initially 74.6 km long, recommends 18% of the line to be at grade and 9% to be running through viaduct. Rolling stock while the subway system itself is not yet in operation, the requirements for the rolling stock in accordance to the projected design are already available. Average train speed is expected to be at 50 km per hour. Manila Light Rail Transit System trains run at the average speed of 40 km per hour. The subway train shall consist of six cars, with a capacity of 412 passengers per car. Each rail car is projected to cost 2.5 million United States dollars, 124.5 million pesos as of 2017. Proposed network. The project involves the construction of 13 stations in its first phase, listed from north to south. Asterisk denotes interchange. The first phase was initially planned to be 21.6 km long. However, it is estimated to be actually 25 km long. The following phases of the subway project would involve extending lines up to San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, north of Metro Manila 15.4 km from the proposed Mindanao Avenue station, and up to Desmarinas, Cavite, south of Metro Manila 20.7 km from the proposed Ninoy Aquino International Airport station. The entire system, if completed, is projected to have up to 1.74 million passengers daily. References External links Forum on Deuteronomics Jika, the Mega Manila Subway Project